God made promises to God's people that date back way before the Jewish laws. God made promises to Adam and Eve and Abraham and the Israelites and even Moses and so many more. But God's promise was essentially this. If we follow and obey God's commandments, then we're gonna be okay. And some laws came later that involved sacrifices and what you can and can't eat and all of that. Then as more time passed, God promises us a Messiah and Jesus comes. And with Jesus comes a whole new promise. And this new promise is that through Jesus' sacrifice and resurrection, that all of the guilt and sin in the world was wiped away so that we could all have the opportunity to be with God in heaven. And God still has promises for us today, but for some reason, we doubt them and we fight so hard against these promises. So stop fighting, stop doubting. God has promises for you and for me, and, and God wants to make us new creations, and God wants us to be happy and prosperous, and to love God and love our neighbors and love ourselves. And God has all of these promises for us, and, and Jesus tells us not to worry. Jesus tells us not to worry because God's promises are gonna have our backs, and, and Paul tells us that God's promises go so far beyond what we can imagine, so far beyond what we can do against them, that there's no point in doubting, there's no point in fighting, because God's promises are so so much stronger than any